You know, I've been studying the late night uh, comedians for a long while. Many individuals were saying that um, we need laughter before we go to bed because it helps in sleep or whatever. Um, and the scripture says that, you know, a merry heart is good for the bones and for your health. But I'm not sure if the kind of thing that goes on at night is the thing that helps you to have better health. I think that uh, focusing, everybody you know, wants to be a joker. The President Bush wants to make, you know, like he's a comedian. Everybody you know wants to be a comedian. Uh, students either want to be a gangster or a comedian. When we get serious, people would have the type of mind that could pursue science and, and business and come with some new ideas that will make America great again. I think that um, if I had a great mind, and I was able to solve all the problems in the country, which I think I can. But suppose now I were that guy and people recognize me as such. And I get me a late, late night slot in which I'm the comedian. Guess what? In a short while, I will cease to be the guy who could solve all the problems. Because when your mind is focused on making, looking for trivial stuff and trying to make uh, triviality of serious things, you just bring your mind down to a level, you call it uh, regression or to... Um, call a trophy or whatever but the mind is never as it had been and so I think that before you go to bed it's like the sleepy effect you listen to some comedians talking some stupid stuff and then you go to bed and you wake up you're just a stupid because overnight you're becoming like them and, and, and the last thing you did before you go to bed you end up the next day being real stupid you just be a big comedian and I don't think in this economic time or here on how do we need to be having comedians as being the movers of the society and being the, the influential people in the country and the people with the big ideas. They're just comedians. They're just making light of some serious things. And I'm so glad that uh, President Obama is not giving them reasons to make you know joke of him because I think that uh, these comedians making joke of individuals, it would end up that these people, serious efforts can look like a big joke and then everybody laughing at the president and then it's like nobody has respect for him. So whether Conan or, or, or uh, Jay Leno, I think Jay Leno has the, he's a little different type of joke. This fellow looks like if he's scatterbrained, you know, this uh, um, Conan guy and uh, the kind of stupidness he's going. I don't know if people who want to have him before going to bed, but hey, you choose anyone, they might do the same thing and making the whole nation become very trivial.